back to our series on the Decembrist uprising in Russia in 1825. So, uh, as we said in the previous two videos, uh, you know, Russian occupying forces came to the West after they defeated Napoleon, and a lot of these soldiers and, you know, officers, they... Uh, consumed a lot of um, Enlightenment ideologies, um, ide you know, a lot of uh, Enlightenment concepts, and they joined Masonic lodges. And in this video, we kind of have to uh, get a little bit deeper into Masonry and what its political ideology is. Like, what does it have to say about, you know, politics and political regimes? Well, you know, if uh, a lot of, um, you know, ideologies and movements and stuff like that can be defined by, by what they oppose as much as by what they are for, okay? Uh, so, uh, for instance, um, Einstein's, you know, rel relativity theory, I mean, you can say what it is about, you know, it's, uh, you know, theory about, uh, you know, all this abstract concept, but it's also a theory which is against absolute space and time, like, and also it is against the concept of ether. So a lot of theories, uh, you know, get defined by what they oppose, all right? And in the case of masonry, the thing that they oppose is monarchy, okay? This form of government where you have a king or an emperor you know, just essentially one guy having absolute power, okay? And, you know, like I said, um, masonry is an enlightenment ideology. It's, you know, part of this uh, greater enlightenment, which began in the early 17th century in Western Europe. So they did not like, you know, having one king. They believed in democracy. And, um, you know, in Western countries, you know, like especially in the U.S., uh, you know, democracy is a direct product of Freemasonry. And, you know, United States of America is a purely Masonic experiment. Like the whole country was built on Masonic concepts. And uh, you can argue it, it, it was a great success. So, uh, and... You know, like I said, these soldiers came to the West, they saw all this ideology, and, you know, the question is, well, what about back home? I mean, they're thinking about, you know, we have to go back home soon, um, you know, but what is wait awaiting us back home? Well, there is a czar, you know, this one absolute king, you know, this despot, um, you know, and, you know, they kind of thought, well, we don't want to go back to that, okay? We don't want to go back to this absolutist, uh, you know, despotist Russia, we want to have this, you know, nice aprons, uh, you know, democracy, and, you know, freedom, brotherhood for everybody. And this was bad, like, Masons really oppose, uh, you know, monarchy. And like I said, uh, you know, United States of America was based on Masonic principles. So, um, that was the conceptual foundation for the Decembrist Uprising. Enlightenment, Masonry, you know, Western Republican government. So that's what these guys decided to do. They, um, you know, essentially decided to, you know, have a conspiracy where they overthrow the Tsar and, you know, his whole bureaucratic machine and have a Western style government introduced to Russia. Uh, pretty radical, pretty interesting, and uh, it failed. So in the next video, we'll uh, continue this interesting conversation.